I'm Meg with Motor Age, here with your Motor Age tech tip brought to you by Camores. Let's talk about 1234 YF refrigerant. 1234 YF air conditioning systems have been in vehicles for over 10 years now, yet there aren't a lot of shops who have taken the leak into the investment of the tools and equipment needed to service these vehicles. Many shops still don't know much about our 1234 YF and why this service is different from servicing an R134A system. If you're one of those shops who's been on the fence about investing in 1234 YF, Watching this video will give you more information and hopefully help you make a decision on if servicing these systems is right for you. Let's get into it. To start, our 1234 YF systems are marked on vehicles the exact same way as they are on vehicles with R134A air conditioning systems. There is a tag under the hood that tells you the amount of refrigerant needed as well as the type of oil. Please understand that the oils used in our 1234 YF systems are not the same as the PAG oil used in the R134A systems. We'll get into why a little later on in this video. Our 1234 YF systems use different size fittings for the gauge hookups. If you look here, the 1234 YF service port is actually bigger than the R134A service hose. This is great because that eliminates the chance of accidentally connecting the wrong machine and potentially mixing refrigerants. The fittings on 1234 YF service hoses are usually reverse threaded. Be careful of this when connecting your service machine so that you don't damage your hoses. Our 1234 YF is mildly flammable. For this reason, a redesign of a recovery machine that uses electrical components that are less likely to cause a spark was required. Otherwise, an R134A machine and an R1234YF machine are essentially identical. They do also make dual purpose recovery machines that can handle the service for both R134A and 1234YF without the need for a separate machine. Do your homework to determine which machine would best suit your needs. Technicians are encouraged to update their 609 certifications to include the addition of J2845 to ensure they understand the proper use and handling of this refrigerant, as well as update their knowledge for servicing these vehicles. For many manufacturers, being J2845 certified is a requirement for servicing their vehicles. Updating your certifications will also ensure that you are aware of additional safety standards when it comes to handling R1234YF. Just like with R134A, your 609 certification is required to be able to purchase the larger tanks of refrigerant. There are a few options for servicing 1234YF systems. You can pick up smaller cans of 1234YF without needing to be 609 certified. However, this option is only recommended for top-off situations or if you are a DIYer. For actual service, especially after repairs are made, this requires the purchase of a larger container in either a 10 or 20 pound size to be connected to a service machine. I want to stress again how important it is not to mix R1234YF and R134A. Cross-contamination of these two refrigerants will cause contamination of the air conditioning components that could lead to possible damage to those components, resulting in reduced cooling function. Because R1234YF is mildly flammable and manufacturers don't want any risk of cross-contamination, there are a few extra steps that an R1234YF recovery machine will go through before you can service the system. First, the system will perform an identifier test by taking a very small sample of refrigerant from the vehicle. This allows the machine to determine if the correct refrigerant is in the vehicle before continuing the service. Some machines have an identifier built into them, others come as a separate unit. Most machines will also perform a vacuum self test as well as a partial pressure test to determine if there are any internal leaks that may cause a potential fire hazard when the machine is in use. While this test is performed prior to connecting a machine to the vehicle, both take extra time to complete. This extra time should be taken into account when scheduling and billing for a system service on R1234 YF systems. Once you get through the system pre-checks, the majority of the service is identical to servicing an R134A system. The machine recovers the refrigerant, holds the system under vacuum for a period of time, and then charges the system. When it's time for charging stage, the R1234YF machine will put a small amount of refrigerant into the vehicle and then pause for a few minutes to monitor pressure as another form of leak test. This again is more time that should be taken into consideration when scheduling and charging for services on R1234YF systems. Disposing of an empty 1234YF canister is the same as if you are disposing of an R134A container. Never vent the refrigerant into the atmosphere, but once you know the container is empty, puncture a hole into the container itself. After a hole has been driven through the container, you can recycle it in accordance to your state laws. Well, that wraps up this Motor Age Tech tip on R1234YF brought to you by Kingmores. We hope that you have a better understanding of what makes R1234YF different and the safety factors that are taken into account when servicing these systems. I'll see you next time on Motor Age.